All right, two screws up here. Take the two screws that are right here, pull them out, and then right where the screws are, place your hands, pressing in on the top using your palms, kind of pull, and this pops all the way out. Then, once you put your two screws in here, there is two screws for this right here. Take those screws out. Make sure it's unplugged up top, of course. And then this comes out. Set that down. And then this screw brings your keypad off. Okay, once the screws come out of here, take your hand down to your pad and just kind of give it a push up. And the whole thing comes off the clips right there. Okay, then you can take these off so that you, the whole panel comes here. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take the blue one off. Okay. And if you want, you can just let it sit like this. Back here, these are your normally open, normally closed switches that are causing you to problem. Up on top, Here's the fuse. When the normally closed or normally or open switch, when that goes bad, it causes a electrical surge, which blows that. So this I'll have to replace, but not until I check these. I'll show you how to check which one's bad. It's always best to get both. There's a screw here that's holding the bracket that has the normally open, normally closed in place. You need a short little stubby Phillips. And I'm going to unplug. You'll notice that these two plugs, how they're different. When you go to See how they're different? One that's got a longer space between it, and you'll see that on the normally open, normally close. So, to get the whole bracket, the bracket goes from top to bottom. Get this screw right up on top. Disconnect the switch up here and the whole bracket. Hold your switches. I can get it out. Comes out. So this one rarely goes bad, but these are the two that are usually the problem. All right, to get these open, normally open, normally closed out, you take your bracket, you flip it over, and you'll notice there's little tabs right inside here. All you gotta do is just kinda give it a little pull. So understand this little spot this little piece right here, it's, got, it's a little round thing that goes deep into the little crevice of the hole. So you gotta be careful, because if you break that, you're, you're in a bad situation. Just open it up while you're pulling down. It 
and I'm being very careful to not break this. Okay, so you see how that comes out, and you're seeing you got it goes deep into this hole, and that's what you're doing. You're prying out the little tab, and you can see the little tab, how long that tab is in there. So that's why it take, took a little bit to get that all the way out, and you got to do the same thing to the other one. There it goes. I'm taking this out, and I'm going to show you the two differences that took me a little while to understand. So this one came out from the middle piece, and this is the normally closed switch. This is the one that came out from the bottom portion down here, and this is the normally open. If you look, they look like the same switches until you take a closer look. The blade is in the normally closed, the NC. And then this one is in the normally open, the NO. So even though they look very similar, the, the differences are. And when the, the two prongs that go onto it, one has got a longer space and one's got a shorter space. So even if you were to take these and swap them, when you went to put that back in, the uh, connections wouldn't fit, all right? So now we're going to test to see which one's probably open. This one works there. It clicks. That clicks. So now I'm going to set this for a continuity test. And all I'm doing is turning it to the omega sign. Okay. And hopefully one of these are bad. Okay, that's working. So after checking these, these appear to be working, all right? This is the normally open, so when the door is open, the way I understand it, pushing that button, that works. This is being normally closed, that button's pushed in when the door is closed, or open opposite. That's working. Pull the fuse, the 20 amp, um, fuse which is this they come in little packs of two this is the ceramic they have the all glass which is fine this is ceramic which is the only thing I could find so this one here is the one we took out doing a continuity test nothing the new one continuity test either side doesn't matter it works so my conclusion is, is that it's not these switches. Like I'm gonna put these back in and just replace the 20 amp fuse and it should work. So what I'm gonna do is just do the opposite of everything you've seen, pop this in, plug it in, and we'll see, see if it pops. The reason why it popped, that's a whole different problem that I can't solve. So I put everything back together, replaced the fuse. The only thing we could figure out is this fuse. And we did replace one of the normally open, normally closed switches. It just felt a little bit lighter to the touch than the new ones that we got. So all I have left now is to put the grate that goes over the top of it, over the top of the fuse right here, and then put the cover on the top up well, if I figured before we even get that far let's see if I plug it in if it's gonna pop the fuse and okay had didn't blow up on us we're still here so I'm going to assume 
that either that one switch we replaced was getting a little soft to the touch or it might be that top normally open close switch which I have not replaced. I've replaced the two bottom ones before but not that top one. It looked fine. Continuity test showed it looked fine. So I'm just going to assume that somewhere in the line here it just popped that fuse. But to understand what I did to get the, to this point my wife opened the door and it popped. Okay, based off the previous thing, I knew this already popped, but when I re fixed it the first time, I just replaced the fuse, and as soon as I plugged it back in, the fuse popped. So that's when I had to go to the next phase, which is the normally open, normally closed. Replace those, replace the fuse, popped it in, and everything worked. That was about eight months ago. Now this has popped up. Now, I don't know if this is something that's going to happen something going on with the entire uh, microwave somewhere something but it's usually if this fuse pops either you had a surge or the two normally open closed switches that are at the bottom that sense the door open or closed or what's gone what's gone bad and you just saw how I replaced it not really that difficult this is a high point the Furions that are coming with the newer models it's almost identical so the switches are probably going to be very similar in this situation. Hope this helps. Thanks.